What happens in a video game after the credits roll? Do you ever wonder, like, your favorite video game characters, what happens when they go to retire? Is it a beautiful ending to their, their, their long adventure, or sometimes is it just plain old crappy? Let's look at Leon Kennedy. This guy went through sh it's like zombies, uh, crazy ass villagers trying to kill him, uh, entire cities being destroyed around him. You know, this guy's gonna be pretty fed up in the head now. Like, how could you ever settle down for an actual, like, relationship? Even if you did get kind of close with someone and they stayed over one night, he's gonna wake up with, like, the worst PTSD, just see, like, Ada, and be like, Ada! Ba 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 ba! I just killed my girlfriend. Well, sh time to go hide myself in another city. Or maybe he's like this, like, a Vietnam veteran who just, like, winds up on the street. He's in a wheelchair, and he he's just has a sign that says, I saved the world and you don't even know it because most of that stuff was kind of covered up anyways. Probably stuff he couldn't talk about. Maybe he just needed to talk to a therapist. This poor guy, like he had good looks, uh, he had good hair, and all of it just going down to waste. Just can't do anything with it now. Poor guy. He just like wakes up every morning just like hoping for zombies to attack so he can like accomplish something again. So he can feel like he's doing something important just instead of living in the glory days. Poor guy, poor guy. I relate to that. I think Duke Nukem is probably a character that his retirement would look pretty ugly. Cause you know, he's the only, with, with a voice like that, his real only option is to stay at the bar and hit on girls way too young for them. Hail to the king, baby. Like, hey baby, hail to the king. I'm here to kick ass and take you out to dinner. And they'd be like, no, please don't talk to me. And then he'd be like, I saved the world from aliens. She'd be like, I wish someone would save me from you. I mean, Really, he's a character too that should have retired before Duke Nukem Forever. If he had just retired and not come back into the video game sphere, we'd all remember him for the awesome kick-ass character he was. But he came back as kind of just a sad guy that was in a game that was terrible, where they tried to take all the fun out of old retro shooters and kind of make them too modern and make it so you could only carry a set number of weapons. When Duke Nukem was a man's man that could carry nine weapons on his back, and they just kind of destroyed it. Duke Nukem, a character that would be sad in retirement that should have just been retired. Dante from Dante's Inferno. He went through hell to save a woman. His, his love of his life is Beatrice. You know, he goes through all the seven circles of hell, kills off Satan somehow or whatever, and saves Beatrice. And I have to imagine after you're tired, he probably thought to himself, man, well, this wasn't all that worth it. Like, she's, her beauty's probably fading a little bit. She's not as hot as she used to be, and I get they have a love there. It's, they have the bond with their, their souls and you know everything. But come on, like he's got to feel like like, man, I'm a little gypped. She probably doesn't even do the dishes that much, and I went through all this hell just to save her. Come on, that's so that's pretty messed up. Number one, number two, he's probably relaxing. He's maxing and relaxing in tropical. Let me just say this: he's probably very used to tropical locales at this point, so he probably moves somewhere near the equator, has a, has a nice relaxed existence, sipping on lemonade by the beach and uh, probably having some weird stories to tell. I imagine that the, uh, the cross sewn into his chest makes for uh, interesting talk at the parties. Uh, people probably don't really get, get why it's in there with all the crazy artwork and, and why he talks in such a weird, proper way down by, I mean, they're probably not used to that by the equator, but uh, yeah, he's, he's probably just chilling. Chilling and regretting going, he probably th thinks to himself, you know, I could have just found another girl. There is a very specific video game character that kind of got a, an own life outside of his game that was kind of just like weird in the first place. Pac-Man! Started off as a very simple arcade game, then all of a sudden in the Genesis he has like a story. He's got like, he's got Miss Pac-Man, he's got a kid there, he's got a life, you're going around town, you're fighting ghosts in town. And it, it's almost like he's living like the American dream. Like he, he had his, his 15 minutes of fame, He's this big star now, and he's just living a nice, good, quiet life. But what if that all starts to cut, catch up with him with, with time? Like, he goes through his midlife crisis, he wants to like relive the glory days, but he, he just he can't anymore, he just has to like compete with like these next-gen games, it doesn't work, and all of a sudden he just gets angry and bitter. Miss Pac-Man just wants to treat him good and, and be there for him, but he's just like, bitch, please, get out of here! Go back to the store and get me some power pellets! And all he's done is guzzling pellets, so he winds up old, fat and alone because he can't just be like, hey, I'm okay with my life now. And it's kind of a sad, tragic story. Just guzzling all of those pellets to the point where he can't even fit through the maze anymore. This is a sad life for Pac-Man. And then Super Bomberman, 
because it doesn't really matter how good you are at what you did. Uh, once you're Super Bomberman, you're on every government watch list ever. You're going nowhere. You're not leaving your house without four NSA agents following you. Is, they like, is that the dude with the really old school bombs? Yeah, he's not getting on a plane. No, he, why is he wearing the helmet? We can't see his face. They'd be following him around. They'd be like, he'd be like, I was protecting the world from evil things. They'll be like, yeah, whatever, bomber guy, uni, unibomber man. We're following you around. We're making sure you don't do anything suspicious. It would be a sad retirement. He wouldn't go anywhere. He would probably get in trouble. He'd probably like see one of his enemies or something. Or, you know, in the multiplayer, it was like, if you were the blue bomber man and they were the white bomber man, like, it was go time. He might see one of those guys and be, go to light up a bomb and get hit by six NSA dudes. And the thing that the government would have to watch him because he pulled those bombs out of nowhere. If you remember back in the day, it was just like, he was just like a bomber man and then, and then like a fucking magician, the bomb would appear there. And then he could kick bombs with deadly accuracy. There's no way that the government just lets this guy run around after he retires, which is sad because bomber man was a hero really for us all. That's the way it is. Earthworm Jim. Earthworm Jim, what does he do when he retires? Uh, he's got, he saved Princess What's-Her-Name. Probably wants to, you know, use the worm, so to speak, and, uh, you know, and I'm not gonna get specific there. I'm not, I'm not gonna be specific, I just said that. But what he's probably doing, you know, he hangs up the suit, and then all of a sudden, whoosh, whoop, oh, f I all of a sudden don't have my superpowers, and now I'm just a worm, and I'm probably blind. Because you see, he has the eyes, when he's in the suit, that's probably one of his superpowers is actually being able to see as a worm. I don't know if you know this, worms are blind. Uh, so he just goes back to being a worm. And that, that blows. That's not exciting at all. He's just a worm. It's like no soup. He doesn't get to eat groovy and eating the sandwiches. Mm, tender. None of that. He doesn't get to, you know, fight evil boogers and, and dogs and whatever the hell else. He, I mean, he's probably okay with not doing all that stuff. But he wanted to, you know... Especially, that's gotta be awkward, because here's how I imagine it going down. So he saves Princess What's-Her-Name, and then she's all like, ooh, let's get you out of that suit. And then takes him out of the suit, and then just all of a sudden, and then just disgusting worm. So his retirement kind of sucks, I think. Why did I paint such a dark, morbid picture? I got some f***ed up things going on in my head. It's true, especially when it comes to Pac-Man, because that guy is eating ghosts. You know, it's just an LSD trip. He's probably hooked on drugs in some alley somewhere. Well, will work for pellets. But then why are you gonna stop? Because he's like this little yellow ball of just nothing and a mouth. Kind of freaky. I wouldn't stop to give him money. Nope. I'm a horrible person though. That's why I'm single. <laughs>